I'm standing in front of my 1934 street rod. As you can imagine, it's taken hundreds of hours to complete. When you're restoring something this beautiful, you certainly want to use the right tools. That's why I used the Crossman Velvet Dolly. Hello, I'm Roy Crossman, the inventor of the Crossman Velvet Dolly. The difference between the Crossman Dolly and a regular metal dolly is the polyurethane, the different curvatures, and the different anvil effect. You bend your door skin on, repairing your door, and you're not damaging the other side. With a regular dolly, every time you hit on it, it's bouncing and putting dents on the other side. Where the polyurethane dolly, you have the different curvatures, you have polyurethane, so when you're bouncing back and forth, you're not damaging the other side, you're still crimping your door skin on. We'll show you the difference here by crimping it, and it's bouncing as you can tell, that dolly is bouncing back. There's a polyurethane dolly, when you're hitting it, see how the dolly stays there, so it's not damaging it the other side and you get in your small curvature area to work. The different anvil effect, bring it back and forth, crimps it down. Your different anvil effect will crimp like on a Honda door, it will crimp. If you need it on the Ford door, you turn it around, you get your different anvil effect. The number one problem with repairing cars is stretching metal with a steel dolly. Repairing your cars with a polyurethane dolly prevents stretching the metal. The dimples on the Crossman dolly prevents you from stretching the metal. With the Crossman dolly, you can also shrink metal. Put the dolly behind the area it needs to be repaired, and I'm going to pick and shrink the panel. Another use for the Crossman Dolly, you can adjust the door, the hinges, without damaging the door or the door post. I would never consider this steel dolly to adjust the door. Have fun restoring that special project. <laughs>